Not very many people get to experience this sort of quiet. Sometimes the world is so loud, right? We're at the GPS Ranch. We just got done shooting some guns, cruising around on the side by side. Tonight and tomorrow, we are getting the bikes out of that ocean container over there. We are going to check them out, see what they need, because they'll be going with us to Colorado on our mountain adventure trip. We're just gonna show you kind of the shenanigans we're going through tonight and tomorrow. Lots of bike riding, side by side riding, and shooting some guns. Was a drive. So where are we at? What are we doing, Jason? We at the GPS ranch, and I think we're riding. We're riding. <laughs> What are we doing? We're at the Go Power Sports Ranch. We're about to go do our test route where we test the shocks, swing arms, basically all the stuff that we built at the shop we bring here and test on this super hard route. So uh, it's pretty sweet. You're about to you're about to see it. Hopefully nobody falls. <laughs> what are you ready? Huh? What are you riding? I'm going to be on the Megamoto 212. This is our Megamoto 212 roller kit with a Tillotson 212 engine. Jason's going to be on MB200 Stage 1. Junior's going to be on MB200 Stage 1. Oh, 62 sprocket. What else? DID chain. This is Bernie and Taylor. What exactly is the GPS Ranch? The GPS Ranch is a 200 acre piece of property that we use for hunting and we also do a lot of product testing there. How many mini bikes do you think are out there? I think we have eight bikes. Three, four ME200s, two Megamoto 212s. Uh, then we have a Trailmaster pit bike out there, a 125 that's pretty sweet. Here in Texas, a lot of it's flat. It's rare to find a piece of property like this because you see how hilly it is and rocky. To be able to have this kind of elevation in these hill climbs to test out gearing and belts and shocks and suspension, it's, it's nice. We keep a lot of mini bikes, a lot of trail masters at the property, so we're always bringing out stuff to test out, try to break out here. Here we're looking at the new nitrogen shock and the swing arm. Shock. Yeah, this is the all billet construction nitrogen shock that we just got in probably a couple months ago, but we had been doing testing on this thing for a while. And um, we got them on pretty much every bike we ride now. These things are just smooth. Working. That shock's working, swing arm. Man, this is a bolt-on swing arm. No welding required. So literally anybody can do this. You bolt it on with basically brackets that have lock collars on them. 
and this thing is sturdy. It's already been in one big wreck survived. at the lime, survived, and it's been out to the property countless times. We have tried to beat this thing and it just keeps going. Yeah, watching it work, it's like a night and day difference in ride. We are in the final stage of testing. We are done with all of our testing here at Go Power Sports. We have three independent companies who are going to test it out for us. Everything that we're doing at the GPS Ranch is prep for our Colorado trip. Yeah, that was the whole point of really our whole yeah our whole day. In comparison to the infamous Tewksbury Trail, how close is the GPS Ranch? Pretty close, actually, with how loose the rocks are um, and how long the hill climbs are. It's good practice. Nothing comes close to riding in the mountains. The video does not show at all. Oh, no, dude, I've never understood that. Yeah. You cannot capture the steep steepness of a hill on video. The Tewksbury Trail, it's about six miles straight where it's just constant. Basically, hill climb after hill climb after hill climb, and then hard descents. A lot higher elevation, which which affects performance. Other than that, the terrain is very similar. The hill climbs are no joke. It's going to be a team effort. Who all is going on this Colorado trip? The whole GPS crew. We're taking all the sales guys, basically all the sales guys and all the management. And we also got the YouTubers going out. Yes, cars and cameras will go out with us first, and then when they leave, the GPS crew comes in. that with a lot of the, the trails uh, here at the, the ranch is um, a lot of times it's, it's not really the bike it's the line you pick mm -hmm. so oh yeah it's um because I, I saw the, the more bike. you ride you'll learn that more yeah and more so and more. you and junior were doing the same trail but and same bike but he like hit a few things and you were just like Oop. yeah <laughs> Yeah, if you choose the wrong route or if you hit a loose rock and it shoots you off to the side, yeah. that yeah, that kills you flying like that. That's the Trailmaster 125. That's the biggest wheel option. It's like a 17 inch front wheel, 14 inch rear. Not crazy powerful, but enough power right. with the gearing. It's a pretty sweet bike. We've had it out there for probably almost a year now. So what exactly is this? Well, I'm calling it the Go Power Pig. The Go Power Pig. Yeah, why not? So, yeah, I guess I'm... What's powering it? <laughs> a Govern Stage 1 301cc Predator. It's, uh, okay. We're going to have to zip tie the governor back for a rip today because it's So the Go Power Pig has a bunch of parts on it. What frame is this? This is a Murray Kilowatt, but it's not Murray Kilowatt anymore. Right. It's highly yeah. modified. Obviously, tons of suspension work, roll cage, engine, torque converter, brakes, the whole steering system, the rack and pinion.
Walk me through what happened here, Bernie. So Zane was driving the, the side by side and he's a little newer at it and we were taking a few turns and maybe egging him on to oh, yeah. possibly go a little faster. Faster, faster. We took a turn way too fast. <laughs> as soon as I felt the weight shift, I, I took back into that thing. <laughs> Definitely bruised up, but. You did the right thing as far as tucking your arms and yeah. not trying to catch the side yeah. by side. Okay. Let's go. Is it? It's still rolling. We got a, man, we got a lot of bikes to get ready. I think we're taking 13, 14 bikes, all of which need a little something, something done to them. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be busy here. 